Lake trout are one of my favorite fish. As far as I'm concerned, you know, you look at winter lake trout fishing, especially for big fish, to me it's one of the most ultimate ice fishing experiences. You know, there's no fish that has horsepower like a lake trout. There he's going for a run. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh my! Look at the size of the girth. Look on at that. the jaws on that fish. Lake trout is the ultimate winter predator. They're one of the few fish that becomes more active underneath the ice. But so often in the last few years, what I've seen is we've really had to use a lot of finesse to catch these fish. So often when we're fishing for lake trout, we're using a lot of tubes, four, five, even six inch white tube baits, soft plastic baits, even you know traditional spoons, even some rattle baits. How high off the bottom do you start? Uh, I fish right at the bottom. Okay. They're so shallow here, they generally are bottom. We're dropping down to the smaller spoons, the leech flutter spoons if there's no current, even some of the smaller rattle spoons. We're using a lot more dead baits, just using a lot more finesse. And that's what it's taking to catch lake trout on a lot of these lakes. You know, and a lot of our fish, they really like to hold to the bottom. In March and April, in some lakes, the trout like to go up on that top part of the water column, but here in northern Manitoba, majority of the big fish are found at the bottom, that bottom six foot water column. You know, the fish in northern Manitoba, anywhere, is a resource, and we want to have it for our next generation, for my kids, and, you know, for all, for all that younger generation, if we do our part, those fish are going to be there. Here comes one. Come on, come on up. They're running right off the bottom. Oh, I got a fish here, Brian. Nice. You know, these fish aren't that deep, 35 feet. That's pretty shallow for lake trout. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a laker. He's running on you. Slow All down. the way back down. Bring them up and down <laughs> they go. It's a lot of fun, though. Oh. These are one of my favorite fish to catch through the ice. The big thing with Lakers, just like a lot of species, you got to find the bait. Once you find the bait, chances are fairly good that you know the Lakers are going to roll through eventually. And sometimes, so, you know, so a lot of guys go with a run and gun approach, but sometimes just holding still. You know, we didn't mark much for Lakers. Nothing was really chasing off the get go, but you know, sometimes you just actually have to wait Lakers out. Boy, Brian, this is a this might be a this is going to be a solid fish. Yeah. Solid fish. I'm excited to see what it is. So crucial when they're close to that hole, waiting for their heads to oh, start. I saw some bubbles. There's so much ice down here, you don't have a chance to no. see them. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Nice. Oh yeah, good fish, good fish. Look at there. Look at there. Oh, <laughs> nice start, huh? <laughs> That's a beauty fish. What a way to start. Beautiful fish, look at that. Just I love yep. that hump above the gills here. Yeah. Gorgeous fish here. I'm just gonna put that fish out in the hole here and unhook them. There we go, yeah. Look at that, just teeth like a dog. Hold on. That right there yep. is ice fishing's ultimate predator as far as mm -hmm. I'm concerned. They're on the top of the food chain, <laughs> absolutely. Gorgeous fish too, yeah. beautiful fish. Well, let's get this fish in the water right away. Thank you. Here, I'll show you the spoon that we're using. Just a leech flutter spoon, which is kind of, I guess, what you'd call a finesse presentation for a lake trout when you look at a predator like a lake trout. But just that piece of walleye belly, putting a white fish scale over the top just to hang that meat on, keep it on. That's just Canadian ingenuity right there. It's legal in Manitoba to chum, and so we're cutting up anywhere from herring to tulipy to um, your fish remains from walleye and the white fish, and you just want to chop it up into small pieces. And that scent and both the forage down there a lot of times triggers the fish. And it's absolutely shocking sometimes how quick those fish will react once you chum. You know, it it just turns things from negative neutral to all of a sudden aggressive. Here comes one. Come on. Oh, 
Starting to come alive now. What do you have going on here, Jason? There he goes, right back down. Love it. <laughs> oh goodness. Just the power of these fish, they're just, they're just a rocket. Yeah, if you like to get wore out fishing, this is the program, isn't This it? is the program. You <laughs> want to do forearm workouts before you come up here, because it gets tired. Oh, here he is at the bottom of the hole. Oh yeah, look here, another nice fish. Nice, Laker. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Look right here. There. Gorgeous fish. I just <laughs> love job, the colors buddy. on these fish. Well, some places, you know, they get pale and washed out, but yeah, yeah, they just get them big heads on them. Big heads, big dorsal, standing up. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous fish. And big gorgeous old teeth. place. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> Great on, congratulations. On yeah, a little bit of northern Manitoba. Oh, yeah, when you smell lake trout at night, that's a good day. Absolutely, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I can sleep at night when I smell that. Oh, I love it. That leech flutter spoon is really producing today, isn't it? I tell you what, these, these inland water, you know, like where we're at here in northern Manitoba, where you, know, you fish less than 50 feet of water, those fish aren't eating the big stuff, the big tubes. It's kind of a finesse presentation, it is. but boy. Just a slow fall, but and that marabou on the tail that that's got to help. Yeah, it's yep. got to help. And just a little bit of meat on the back, and mm -hmm. very effective. Very. There's a fish on there. Yeah, he's on, he's on, he's on. I'm just gonna feed him line. He doesn't know what's up there. Okay, ready? Here we go. You got a good one? Yeah, it's on. Definitely a trout. So this fish was actually, he didn't take any line. I could just feel it when I went to lift it up. You could feel just a tiny bit of weight. So I just let him take it and take it and take it. These fish are really neutral and negative right now. And, and uh, you know, we're marking tons of fish and you'll mark three or four at a time and you just can't make one take. So there he's going for a run. Here we go. Oh yeah. He was just mouthing it. And I could, I looked at it cause I seen the rod tip do a sharp thing and I couldn't tell if the wind moved. So we actually had a tree snap right behind us. It's just gusting up to 30 mile an hour winds right now, but <laughs> people do crazy things oh, for big Lakers. <laughs> love it, huh? <laughs> He's yeah, ripping. This is, a, this is a heavy fish. Waiting them out. You know, we've had action here for most part of the day. We just haven't been able to make them take really much at all, but you just got to wait it out, especially on a day like today when you got fronts moving through, you just don't know what time of day that's going to trigger those fish. Yeah, just those feeding windows. Yeah, and that's when you look, there's water's moving, so we know he's getting close-ish, oh, yeah. but it's I don't see the lead yet. There's there. the barrel swivel. Oh, look at that! Look at that size look at, of that thing! I can't get my... Oh, look at, look at that! Oh, 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 oh. That oh is my. awesome! Look at the size of the girth look on that! Look at the jaws on, on that real. fish! Northern Manitoba, it has some giants. Absolute wow. giant lake Yo, trout. That's a once in a lifetime fish. Absolutely. A lot of people people go, do a lot, go a long ways yeah. for a fish. And you know what, those fish, this fish right here is probably as old as we are. Yeah, absolutely. Cool colors on that. Man, look at the size of that oh belly. Oh my. He could put a white fish down that, no problem. No problem. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> it fills a 10 inch, ten -inch hole. hole. Look at that, Jason, that's unreal. Look how big that tail oh, is. So much power. Much water. So much power. Oh, 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 oh. Unreal. That well, awesome. let's get another one, man. That's as good as freshwater fishing gets. Absolutely. Right that is the most powerful fish that there is in the open water. It's freshwater. Pristine, like. remote, clean fish. Absolutely. It's Gen clear water. Cool. You know, they got eyes stuff. that look at you like a, yeah, like they a do. dog. You know? A walley doesn't look at you. A pike doesn't look, but a lake <laughs> nope. trout will look at you. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> oh, Stare you down. Cool. All cool. right. Well, cool. we know they're here. Let's keep awesome. at it. Awesome.
A lot of times, I think people underestimate just how effective dead sticking can be for lake trout. But just a, a frozen cisco, a herring, a, a tulipy, you know, just an oily bait fish, anywhere from six to eight, nine inches long, and, you know, just set in that zone where those fish are coming through. You know, have them nearby where you can keep an eye on them and watch them. And the Arctic Warrior is perfect for that because you can fight these fish on a conventional rod. It's just basically a, a tip down for bigger predators and flag pops up you know instantly you can get there right away to catch those fish and but most importantly you can use a good reel because you're going to need a good drag when you fight these fish. Oh. <laughs> good fish here Brian. I mean, this is just crazy hardcore fish. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> oh, you made him mad. You made him mad. Here he goes. Isn't that something? <laughs> you made him mad. <laughs> wow. Biggest fish I've had on today. Wow. Can't even really budge him. Definitely not telling him what to do. No. You know, it's just incredible. You know, it's just, uh, I guess, kind of the new rage in ice fishing, just an extreme, hardcore drive to destinations where you basically drive until you run out of road. Yeah. The last great places left on earth where there's just all kinds of fish, no people. In this case, just incredible lake trout fishing. Unbelievable. Yeah. You know, and that's one thing with northern Manitoba is we have highway to these lakes like they're highway access they're not just grid road beating up your truck getting out there absolutely and there's no one out here like, there's, there's not no a lot one. of people but there's people that live here you know yeah. so it's not like you're getting dropped dropped off in antarctica but unbelievable though i don't see the water moving yet so i think no. he's still a ways down on you yeah fish might not even know it's hooked yet they're acting real lethargic, even with the fights, you know, it's yep. uh, not oh, real comes, long. Here she comes. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another candy. Great Look fish. At that. Whoa. Beautiful colors on that. Oh, the pectoral yeah. fins. Just classic char. Bright orange all along it. Darker awesome. trout than the other ones, though, hey? Yeah. Gorgeous Beautiful fish. fish. Gorgeous fish. Beautiful fish. Awesome. That is one awesome fish. Thank you. Wow. Awesome. Good job. You're on fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to you lie. What, You're on fire. You know, I, I've been to places where if you catch a lake trout a day or yeah. two, you know, a fish or two a day, you're doing good. Yeah. yeah, and you know, these fish have been a little off. You know, we're marking a lot of fish, but you know, we've been using that, that smaller flutter spool. We've been using uh, you know, the dead sticks and uh, just adapting the fish. You just do whatever you got to do to catch them. Yeah. I have no pride. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it as it comes, absolutely. Yep, absolutely. All right, let's get another one. So when we first got here, you know, the we were hoping the weatherman was wrong and the big winds that they were calling for weren't actually going to show up. But it didn't take long and the front and the clouds moved through and high winds have followed. It's drifting. You, sometimes you can barely see shoreline right now. So fortunately we have this clam hub, this big foot, and we use the snowmobiles as anchors to hold it down so it didn't take us across the lake. And we're just working as a team, getting each corner down, somebody going along the outside, shoveling snow in along the edge, and, and uh, we're gonna make it work. That's part of being ready in these extreme conditions. Okay, so in Manitoba, we're barbless, and when you put bait on, 
there's always trouble about that bait falling off. So what we like to do is put that scale and pierce it with your hook and slide it over top. And that way it'll hold that bait from actually sliding off your hook. And it also add a little bit of shine to, to your bait presentation as well. I think he's on it. I think he's on it. Yep. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. I think it's a laker. <laughs> Maybe it's a burbot. I'm not sure. Man, these fish are so strong. You know, it's just unreal conditions right now outside. And things are, we're seeing a lot of fish. Oh, this fish is peeling line on us. Good. And, uh, it has been chumming and we're seeing fish and we just cannot make something take. And this fish, we saw the, saw the flag trip up and it slowly was taking line, so slowly. I don't know if this is a laker, it's actually kind of fighting like a burbot actually. Let's see what we got, here it comes, oh nice trout, <laughs> a humpback trout. Look at that. You know, dead sticking in the shack still works too. You don't always have to do it outside. You know, doing a vertical or uh, doing a jigging presentation beside the dead stick, just like you would with a walleye. And sometimes, you know, they see what you're doing there and don't want to take something that's actually got action, but rather take something just laying there still and produces trout. No doubt about it. What a fish. What a fish. like that. Bye buddy. Send your granddad over here. Let's get another one. Dead sticking the Cisco. Now is becoming chum. <laughs> Cut him up. There we go. Chummed up. Ready to rock. If there's a fish down there right now. Let's see if we can make him take. I don't know. We just landed one. Let's see. Oh, oh, there we go. Just like that. Come on, get up, get off, get up. There we go. This feels like a good laker here. We just finished landing one from the Arctic Warrior there and just dropped down. A fish was down there and I put the new leech flutter spoon and sure enough, the thing hits it as soon as it got to bottom. I think it might have actually picked it off of bottom. This fish is taking a lot of line out on me. This might be a solid fish. Oh, look at that thing, it's just going. I can't gain on them. We've battled them, battled them for the last, I don't know, three hours. Everyone's marking fish, no one can get anything to go. And just like that, you pick up two in five minutes. And that's laker fishing, you know, you never know if you're gonna have to, <laughs> this thing is just peeling line out. I don't know if you can see that on the bait caster, it's not quite as theatrical as a spin caster, but this thing is, this thing's a ways down yet. This will be a while. Oh, he's down there, here he's, oh, there he's coming, here he's coming, he's coming, we got him, he's in the hole, he's in the hole. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Look at the head on that thing. Unreal. Unreal. That's Master Angler. That's 35 for sure. Master Angler here in Manitoba. It's going to be 35 inch plus for a lake trout, and that makes it every day of the week. Every day of the week. Unbelievable. Look at the size of the head on that thing. Just caught in the corner of the jaw with that flutter, that leech flutter spoon. <laughs> that thing has been key. Jason dropped that down here first thing this morning and is just pounding fish off the get-go. <laughs> incredible. What an incredible fishery. Man, you got to check it out. It makes days like this, even though you're grinding it out in that awful wind, it, this makes it all worth it. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> that is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Love it. Love every second of it. You work so hard all day with negative fish, and then in a matter of minutes, you pull up almost considered a, a double header, because by the time you get one fish up and you drop down and you hit another one, you know, it makes all of fighting with the shock, getting this up in these 50 kilometer, 70 kilometer hour gusting winds, it makes everything worth it.